OMG, you're burning breakfast? No. Or is it the cinnamon? Uh, it, maybe. It might just be the cinnamon that uh, burned. Did you spray it enough? I did spray it. Yeah, it came off. It just really, it, it cooks fast. Try again. Cinnamon roll waffles, look at that. That's genius, did you come up with that idea yourself? Or is that a Pinterest idea? Mommy, I don't know. Oh, mommy came up with it. Pinterest? Good morning guys, welcome back. It's Saturday and I'm starting my day off with a little live stream. We are taste testing some Kings Coast coffee. I told you guys about this a couple days ago. These are coffees from Africa. We got Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya. We're doing it live here on Twitch. So this is what this is what Twitch looks like, guys, when you're when you're uh you always talk about Twitch. See look at, look at all these people saying hi to the vlog. Look at the they're saying hi to you. How nice of them. Hi vlog! Hey mom, get the camera! I'm in the vlog! Yeah. That's what we do live every day, twitch.tv slash Clintus. Reminder, if you want to check out King's Coast Coffee, there's a link in the description now. Click on that, get yourself some good coffee delivered right to your house. Here one day, volleyball team. Football. Varsity. skates <laughs> varsity volleyball team so this is uh, this is Verado's homecoming big party out here in the grass Middle of the middle of the town, it's crazy. So this is the second time we've been to the uh, homecoming parade. I'll put the video up in the card right here of last year when we were up here. And it's it's events like this. There's only a couple of them. There's like three or four a year that Verado does. But it makes us wish we would have gone further west and moved out here. Such a cool community. Such a cool neighborhood. My head is on fire. Jesus Christ. You're scaring me. Ah, I need a pair of pliers. Or tweezers. What happened? I don't know. me. The sting? Yeah, it's on fire. I need tweezers. Where's the tweezers? <laughs> Woo! I was cleaning the pool out and I'm something. Oh, it's on man. fire, dude. Have you ever been stung before? No. Oh my gosh. What is it? I don't, I don't know. Like, I pulled it off because I thought it was like. Her, hold on. I'm all hot. I'm sweaty from the outside. It's tiny. I broke it off. Pull it out. Here, buddy. No? I might need to make something sharp. Pull the skin off. It's like in there. Yeah, I'm not good at this. Look, you can see. Ow. Dang. So, are you. Do, you like to stick your hand sure in the sink? I have no idea what it was. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> like, I felt something sharp and I was like, ow, oh, like and I did this. But it's like, it burnt like crazy at first. Or is it still like stinging or burning? No, I'm, no. I mean, now it's just like whatever. But Okay. Yikes. I, I don't know what, what it was, guys. It was in the pool. It was a bunch of leaves and like flowers, and so I just grabbed it and went to throw it out, and I, like, it felt like a thorn. I got a thorn in my hand, and I just like swat. I just like wiped it. Like I like swatted at it. I was like, get off my finger, and it like immediately started burning. It was like on fire. I was like, oh! But I never saw what it was. I don't know. It's fine now. I mean, my hand's not swollen up. My face isn't swollen up. I guess I'm not allergic to whatever it was. So right now I'm playing the 2K19 Prelude, 
and I uh, my I made a shooting guard, and I really like this combination. This uh, I did for my primary. I did driving and finishing, so slasher, and then for my secondary, I did three point shooting. Two K eighteen, I did I did a pure sharpshooter, so he's really good at shooting. So your your NBA two K nineteen character yeah. is a sharpshooter. Well, that like pure sharpshooter. That was last time. That was last season. Now he's like. Driving and finishing, which is a slasher. Slasher is like good at dunking and layups, and the three-point shooting. So what would you call him? What's his title? Uh, it was a sharp, sharp shooting slasher. Sharp, sharp shooting slasher. So you're a sharp shooting slasher. Mm -hmm. Got it. There's a lot of other combinations. That's a good combination. If you guys are gonna get the game. Are you gonna get the game? Yeah, I hope so. Christmas. Yeah. yeah Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Decided to walk down to the park with the doggy. Play, play a little bit in the grass. It's still 100 degrees outside, 103, 103, but it's not too bad in the shade. Honestly though, we, we, sweat, we sweated a lot at the, uh, the homecoming parade, so we were already kind of like sticky and icky and baby. You want to bone? Come here. Ready, ready? Get it. I was left-handed, that sucked, sorry. She's like, uh, that, was, that was pathetic guy. Yeah, she's like, I'm not even gonna pick it up. That was pathetic. Do it. Do it, Clintus. I told him he should do a cartwheel. Cartwheel! That's cartwheel! For the, that's for the chase. Cartwheel! Cartwheel? Cartwheel! Do it! <laughs> oh, he's getting serious! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know when the last time I did this. Oh, this is gonna be funny, guys. Oh. You know Are what, guys? Were my legs straight? <laughs> He, hammy. he was in gymnastics. That was a long time. <laughs> what? 18 years? That's High tough. school. This tall, linky uh, 19 years ago? guy was in gymnastics. Hey, tall guys mean gymnastics. They, uh, they do the pommel horse. <laughs> now he's getting attacked They're by ants. everywhere. <laughs> Crap. I like stood in an ant heel. They're all in my legs. <laughs> Crap. This is not my lucky day, man. No. Stung by something and now being bit by things. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm sitting here laughing, but I'll be next. <laughs> so we're back from the park. Been chilling outside for the last hour or so, just kind of enjoying each other's company. That's kind of what the weekends are for. I work, I stream a lot during the week. Tiffy's running around with the kids for sports and stuff like that. Weekends are kind of our time, to just chill, um, you know, spend time with each other. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what sparked the conversation. Seeing the homecoming parade at Verado just kind of made us like, we've always said, ever since we moved into this house, Man, we should have just gone like 15 more minutes west to Verado. Like, there's so many cool things at Verado. Like, where we live is just kind of like meh. And we love our house, hate the stairs, but we love our house. But she started looking at houses in Verado, and I'm like, what? Like, what? We haven't been in our house for two years yet. You're already looking at other houses, and she's like, so I don't know. She's whatever. Anyway. Uh, I'm hungry. We, we ate happy hour. We only ate some things. Um, I'm gonna cook these new uh, spicy seafood udon type noodles soup. So I'm gonna cook that and then I don't know what she wants. I'll cook something for her too. Whatever. We'll see. But yeah, we're just kind of chilling on a Saturday night. What'd you guys do on Saturday? Let me know in the comments down below how your Saturday was. What'd you do on Saturday? Always curious to hear what people do. Making some ramen? I'm making your ramen. Yeah. I already made my ramen. I got the spicy seafood over there. You I got, got the spicy chicken. Spicy chicken. We like our spicy ramen. Bryce has got an egg in his though. Yeah. I almost put an egg in mine, but I was like, I'm gonna try my without the customization. Oh yeah, yours looks good, dude. I kind of broke it up a little bit, so it's not like a whole egg. It's like broken up. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think you like that. I think we're good. The yolk, yeah. the yolk looks all cooked. How is it? Good? Hot? Mine's good. It's new, never had it before. I really like it. It's udon noodles, which have like thick consistency. And it's like a spicy seafood broth. Tip's not a fan, but I really like it. How is it, baby? The food you eat every single day. How is it? Oh, it's okay. Wrapped up with dinner. It's, uh, it's about nine o'clock, not too late. But I'm out in the garage because Going dirt bike riding tomorrow. Whoop. That's right, we're going to ACP uh, with uh, my brother-in-law Mike from the Swags 
and my dad. Um, except my dad's bikes aren't ready. His, uh, his, his Yamaha's got the forks off. He's getting a fork uh, seal replaced. And also changing the fluid, I think. I don't know. He's doing something. There's two things he's doing to the, to the fork tubes. Um, and then his Honda, his Honda's been out of commission for like over a year. I don't know, maybe two years. He hasn't ridden that. So I don't know, he's just sitting there in his garage. I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna bring my bike and we're gonna, we're gonna share and ride together. Um, and then Mike's gonna bring his bike. And then one of Mike's buddies and his son are coming. So there's like four of us, five of us, five of us um, going to ACP. So uh, stay tuned tomorrow, some dirt bike riding. So I'm out here and I'm, I'm you know, getting our, our gear bags ready and making sure we have all the gear and everything. Get my dad's stuff ready because all my dad's stuff is here. And I'm like looking, I'm like, where's my dad's helmet at? I'm like, oh, what's up here? And so first of all, this is, this is my helmet rack, right? So this is like, this is Bryce's helmet. Bryce's old helmet, Sears old helmet, obviously super tiny, small, right? I've got this, uh, this fly helmet that I got for free when I uh, went out to Supercross uh, Monster Cup. Um, and I, and, I, and it's, it's, it's a good helmet, I just haven't put a GoPro mount on it yet. I haven't, I haven't done one yet. I need to put a GoPro mount on it, but that's the reason why I haven't worn that one yet, because I haven't um, put a GoPro mount on it. But, but then I find, in the back there is another one, and I pull it out, I'm like, is this my old helmet? No, it's my dad's old helmet. I didn't realize I kept it, I still had it. This is my dad's old helmet. I didn't realize I still had it. I have so many helmets. So this is my dad's bag. And by the way, my dad hasn't ridden since Glen Helen back in November when we went. So he still, got, he still has mud all over his helmet from the last time he rode, which was November. So my dad hasn't ridden in November. Longer than me, guys. I've ridden more than my dad, just saying. Listen, a lot of you guys ask why I don't ride my dirt bike more, right? Or when are you gonna ride your bike again? Or post more dirt bike videos. And I, I, I just talked about this last week, there's actually a video called when are you gonna ride your bike again or something like that. I'll put it in the cards here if you wanna watch it. But to address it again, I love my dirt bike. I really do. Riding this last weekend up north was awesome, was fun. But it's just one of many things that I enjoy doing in my free time. It's not, it's not my, I don't know, it's not my passion, it's just a hobby. It's just something fun that I enjoy doing. And I get out here in the garage and I start seeing all the gear, like all the smells, and I get all excited again. I'm like, yeah, let's go riding. Like when Mike texts me, Hey, you want to go riding at the track this weekend? I'm like, yes, like that's all I need. I just need to nudge. And so I'm like, yes, let's go. So I'm excited. I'm excited. And it, the weather is going to start cooling off. And as it gets cooler and cooler, I'll start riding more and more. It's going to happen. I just got to figure out where to ride out on here. They built a bunch of houses now. I don't know where the hell I'm going. All right, folks, time to call it a night. I got to edit this vlog because I'm going to get up early to pack up and load the bikes and go riding before it's too hot. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. I am this guy for more videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Vlog on.